the area bounded by, let's say, uh, the x-axis, so y equals zero, and the equation that they give you there, y equals five minus x squared. Sketch the graph, right? So if you can't graph it, right? Like if you don't know what this looks like, let's say you get to the test and you're like, oh no, I don't know what that graph looks like. The easiest way to handle that is gonna be to just create a table of values, right? The the equation is telling you what a graph looks like. That's that's its that's its secret. It's, it's, it's telling you what happens. So you just try, you know, what happens when X is a certain value and then you see what happens to Y. Right? So you say, okay, what happens when X is zero? When X is zero, you see that y is five. And then you say, okay, what happens when x is one? When x is one, you see that y would be four. You say, well, when x is negative one, it's the same thing because it's squared, so it's also four. And then at that point, you should kind of have an idea of what's happening, right? If you, three points should give you a relative idea. The only thing really to figure out now would be the boundaries, right? What are these intersection points here? And those intersections there would be given by equaling the two equations, right? The x-axis is y equals zero. So there you go, you know this is negative square root five. And you know this is five, square root five. So the area under this curve square root five to negative square root five. And my function, right, I'm looking for the area under y equals uh, five minus x squared. Now these are easy integrals to take. And then hopefully we get the same answer. So again, just make sure you're when you're studying, make sure you're using the calculator that you're going to be using on your test. 